Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21 Stable. I am an old guy starving. Uh, so we're going to take this charred meat out of here that we just made and consume that. Let's get this repaired. Um, so I've dug out the initial uh, chamber here. Um, I didn't actually want to put that sideways. And um, I had... Uh, I was fine all night. I stayed quiet for the most part, but then I started doing some digging. And right before morning, uh, about the worst zombie that, that could have showed up did show up, and that's the Hawaiian 5 guy. The only guy that would have been worse than him is the biker. bit of touch and go there trying to um you know kill him before he because he damages the the hatch very quickly um and then we had a couple other zeeks come in but i managed to survive that we had to use our our first aid bandage unfortunately but we got the job done i guess this doesn't matter which direction it goes right um so yeah so basically i i came this far back into the tunnel um, and then started uh, just very, very small chamber here. Uh, just something to get a, a bedroll down, a, a chest down, and the fireplace and all that down. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to eat all four of these. It's going to cost us a total of 20 water, which is a full jar. But we got we got to do it. And then we'll drink a jar to compensate for the thirst loss. And then I'm not super worried. Let's go ahead and just eat this corn too for now. I'm not super worried about food because, you know, um, birds' nests are abundant. We can eat eggs for that. Uh, it's, you know, water's going to be the biggest thing. Okay, so let's down one of these to counteract the thirst, and we're going to need another one of these. And let, let's just see where that gets us with uh, two waters left. So that'll be our highest priority day, uh, priority rather today, is to get water. Uh, chrysanthemum seed is not important, but any other type of seed you know goldenrod and chrysanthemum i'm not i'm not worried about uh as far as the seed because we can pick that stuff in abundance all right we're gonna keep uh, we're gonna put all of this stuff in here i'm gonna keep the bones with me for you know repairing and so forth um i want i want to make a, uh, some more cobblestone uh, so let's just turn all of the rest of that into cobblestone uh, we've got lots of stones. Oh, by the way, I did level, and I'm almost halfway to the next level. And because I had so much digging to do, I went ahead and put that point into uh, Miner 69er. Um, so, because we're, we're going to need that eventually anyways. So I decided now would be the best time to do that. Let's put this stuff in here. I think we'll keep, well, you know, we can get grass easily enough. We'll keep the coin. Uh, let's put half the wood in there. I'm going to want to get some more wood. We'll put the animal fat. We don't need the repair kits. We'll keep that in case we get a laceration. We'll keep the half the cloth with us for now. Oh, actually, you know what we're going to do, though? We're going to make ourselves some cloth armor. We don't need the iron at the moment. I do want to make a pipe weapon fairly soon. We'll keep... Um, let's keep a couple jars of honey with us. Okay, so we're going to turn all of this... Well, actually, hold on. Let me look at something. <clears throat> so if we just go with the padded stuff. So we're going to need a total of five duct tapes to make all of this. All right, so that means we definitely want to turn all of the glue into duct tape. And we'll have, hopefully, you know, be able to loot some more of that uh, or find more glue, whichever, whichever of the two comes first. All right. So probably, um, I think we'll do everything except, oh, yeah, this isn't, the thing about these boots is these aren't actually armor. 
they give us um, temperature protection, but they're not really armor. So I think what we'll do is let's go, um, hold on, back to... Here, sorry. Yeah, it's, it's early in the morning, so I'm still kind of tired. Uh, let's make a chest armor and a leg armor for sure. And I think we'll do boots and head. And we'll just keep wearing the, the fiber uh, gloves for now until we can get more stuff. I think this... We, re we really would only need this like in the desert, and we're not going to be going to the desert anytime soon. So let's scrap that. Uh, these, I think we'll go ahead and sell uh, for the coin. All right. Um, so we'll put half of our cloth back in there. Let's put half of our bones in here, too, just so we have them. We're not really needing iron for anything at the moment, so we're probably further ahead to try and sell those to the trader when they open. And I think we're probably in pretty good shape for now. Okay, so that got our food. Uh, those four pieces of meat got our food back up to about 80%, and our water's at about 70, 75%. Uh, and we still have the, you know, the two waters, of course, left. Um, so this this and this we're going to sell to the trader uh we might end up needing to use some well you know what though actually no, i'm not going to take these with me either and maybe we should nah i'm not All right, we'll use um we'll use wood blocks if we need to for barricades and things like that okay so i think we're ready to set out uh, our goal for today is going to be to uh, do this, you know, this first quest that we have and find more water. Um, so those are the important things. Yeah, we got got a little damage on here. I'll probably line this whole thing with cobblestone blocks, but we will, we'll do that later. We need to get going. I didn't look explicitly for, um, for a water filter at the trader. So let's run back there, sell this extra stuff to him, and look for a water filter. Oh! Crap, that scared the heck out of me. You know what? We need the giblets from that deer. So let's just stay still and wait for it to calm down. Okay. That's a really long shot for this bow. Yeah, okay. Maybe we need to try to get a little bit closer here. I, th I still think I'm undershooting. Let's go a little higher. There we go. That's good. Yeah, we need we need the stuff from this guy or gal, as the case actually probably is, because uh, you know doe, female deer. So we'll butcher up this deer. We're gonna get some bones and some fat and some hide. Very much needed. And we'll grab that arrow there. Hey, do I see any of the other arrows? Arrows are really hard to spot. Okay, let's hop into the trader here. And I just want to see, like I said, if they ha if they happen to have a water filter. I wasn't looking for that specifically. So, uh, because if we can get a water filter, we're, we're set for, for water. Great weather we've been having. All right, let's look. No, that's the stuff I sold them. Okay, well, let's go ahead and sell the iron and the nails. Okay, he doesn't want either one of those, so if we... Thank you, Survivor. Check back soon. I get new merchandise daily. If we scrap those, and then can he... Will he buy that? Yeah, he does. Okay, that got us... Uh, got us. Got us up to 115. Can we sell this to him? Nope, there's not enough there. Pleasure if, doing business if we can you. get to 120 we can buy an extra water oh, oh yeah we we're gonna sell the boots to him that'll take care of that beautiful okay you come back sometime now let's buy an extra water from him so now we have three waters and i think we're gonna take one of those right now 
And now we're not in too bad a condition, guys. We're not in too bad a condition. Um, so we're, we'll probably come across more iron, so I'm going to keep that in my inventory. The gunpowder, nah. We'll throw that out, and we don't need the clay taking up a slot either. We're definitely going to keep the animal fat. Animal fat is, you know, relatively hard to, to come by in Alpha 21. Um, if you're not, you know, expecting to the hunting skills and all that. Okay, so we need to go 696 meters that way. We're going to hop over to this POI here, though, and we're going to do a quick loot on it before we go do our quest, just so, in, in hopes that we can maybe find some more water or whatever. But we want to be careful. There's a lot of vehicles there, so when the time comes for us to do some salvaging, salvaging is probably not going to be a real big priority for us though in this playthrough because we're not using vehicles i mean there's other things that need salvage too but yeah see the heart not very many of these vehicles are actually lootable it sucks let's try this semi here there's a lot of tents around so i want to be careful about sleeper zombos okay let's crouch so we can be a little quieter Shit, we already got the attention of somebody. I don't know who it is. Is it just one? Okay, it's just an Arlene. We can handle her. Arlene is fast, but she's also one of the weakest zombies in the game. Oh, crap. No, I didn't time that one good. All right. Okay, so we took her out. Um, let's go back over here. Uh, by the way, <clears throat> this is not a permadeath series. But we will do everything, of course, within our power to not die. But if it happens, it happens. I don't find permadeath to be very fun. Because you, you work really super hard, you get to a certain point, you die, and then you got to do it all over again. It's just, it, it's, a, it, it's okay for like a temporary, maybe live stream kind of thing, but I don't think we're going to loot Cass. But I just don't find it very enjoyable, because I have done it before in the past. Alright, I wonder if there's anyone in this tent. There is not. Okay, let's harvest the cloth from here. I don't want to spend a really long time here. It's kind of cool how they set the tent up. Okay. Uh, there are a couple of lootable vehicles here. I'm just trying to see if there's any sleepers in between the vehicles that we need to be careful of. I don't notice any, so let's hit this pickup truck here. Okay, so we can now make our our uh, hands, uh, our gloves rather, padded gloves. Wait, that is what we need, right? Uh, yeah. Wait a minute. Didn't I make the chest? Or... Oh, that's considered a shirt, not art. Okay, yeah, I got gotcha. you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay, yeah, that's considered a shirt, not, not actual armor. Okay, so let's go to here and here and make the padded gloves. And now we are fully armored in cloth armor. So that's certainly going to help us with our survivability. I don't care about nitrate and don't really care about one thing of gunpowder. Let's basically turn all feathers we find for now into to arrows because I've got, you know, tons of stone and that just keeps that slot freed up for us. All right, let's go this way. I'm debating whether or not I want to attempt to peek our head in just a little ways into the store or not, but it's going to be really risky if we do that. 
I hear a zombie walking around over there somewhere. There's a bag. Nice. Okay, let's check this bag here. Beautiful. Exactly what we needed. I don't know who that is, but let's see if we can get them to bugger off so we can finish looting this place. Those are just sleeping bags. Yeah, we'll grab that. That zombie, wherever or whatever they are, don't seem to care about the stones we threw. Let's get this for the plastic. This blue van is lootable. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a peek around back. of this POI before we take off for our, our job. We could maybe poke our head in to that area. Uh, okay, so we have an Arlene and formerly known as Spider Zombie. Yeah, let's get them on their way because if, if I would take on one or the other, but I don't want to take them on both at the same time. I don't really see anything back here. Let's just poke our head inside of here real quick. Hopefully it doesn't get taken off. All right, we'll take all of that stuff. Um, Ooh, there's a drink machine in there. That is going to probably be worth risking it for a biscuit here. And we're going to have to deal with darkness until I can come up with a helmet light. I'll, I'll do my best, you know, to use torches and stuff to help with that, but... And, you know, if you guys don't care, the other thing I could do is just spawn in a helmet light for the purposes of the video. Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm, if I was playing by myself, I don't, I don't mind the darkness. I like the immersion, but I, you know, we can't make dark videos. So, all right, I'm, I'm afraid something's gonna try and pop out of that door. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, or maybe come down those stairs. So, let's see if we can. Okay, good. We can block the door. And. We should also, we can't really block, well, we can do that. That'll prevent them from trying to jump over that way. We just have to be ultra, ultra careful at the very, you know, in the beginning game on these settings. Let's also see if we can lock those that'll buy us a, a moment all right we'll harvest these for the plastic and, the, and and or the cloth or whatever it gives us and let's loot this oh give us something good all right well water's good <laughs> water is definitely good oh there's a coffee thing all right well we can turn that into coffee later There is definitely a sleeper behind that counter. Um, there's a couple more things in there we could loot. So here's what we're going to do. Let's just throw that down there for a second. I think we're safe from the stairs for the moment. Whoever's in here will probably come to this door. And as long as they're not a super nasty Zeke, probably kill them. 
or they could come. Oh. Let's see if we can just bleed her out before. Well, that was unfortunate. Shit. Oh boy. She should bleed out. We we put a lots of bleeds on her. Um, Marlene, there you go. Okay. All right. We woke up somebody else. Let's get a bleed going on him, and then let's we'll just keep these repaired. Let the bleed do its work. Okay, well, that works too, I suppose. I hear another sleeper. There we go. Okay. All right, I'm not totally convinced we woke everybody up in there. Okay, there's somebody outside, too. It's probably that Arlene. There's another sleeper. He's right there. And then we got those three zombies outside, too. Okay, we need to deal with the zombies outside first. the same too. Okay, we got spider dude away. Let's kill Arlene. Just get rid of her. Plus we get the XP. <clears throat> okay, she's dead. How far away did the other guy go? Yeah, he's quite a ways out there now. Right. Let's put that there. Shoot this dude in the leg. I think we've cleared out the kitchen. Let's get our blocks back. Or most of them, anyway. Did we already try to loot that? I think we did. Alright. So a door there. Oh man, there really isn't actually a whole lot to loot in here, is there? Well, there's some food. Okay, that made it worth it right there. Oh yes, okay. Let's eat that and another water, too. Grab that gore pile. Ah, it's too bad the fridge and the microwave weren't working, but you know what? I can't complain. We did pretty good so far. Uh, there's some shelves in there that might have loot, but you know what? I think we need to go. I think we've done all that we should do in this place for now. And we didn't do bad. We got, what, two or three waters out of the whole deal and some food. So, yeah, can't complain. <clears throat> okay, uh, there's chicken. Let's start heading uh, towards our job. 
when the chickens run back into the foliage, it's really hard to see them. Oh, there's a bunny too. Okay. okay got the chicken. Then maybe we can get the rabbit later. Any chance we can find our arrow? Ah, you know what? Let's not waste time doing that. They're super cheap to make. It's already noon. I mean, if I see it, I'll pick it up, but I'm not going to spend time looking for it. Oh, I think the rabbit spotted us. All right, let's just go. We need to ski-daddle. Got a, a fair trek ahead of us. We got to go do the job and get back to the trader before nightfall. So, And, of course, we will continue to loot stuff along the way. That is... Oh, there's the rabbit again. <laughs> That's businessman Zombo there. He's fast, but relatively weak. But still dangerous as all get out at this point. I mean, every zombie's dangerous except for the crawler. There he is. And he started moving right when I drew back. Can't wait till we get a better bow. There we go. Okay, let's move. <coughs> I'm debating whether or not I'll put any points into the hunting skills. And the reason for that is because I have never not played this game and had more meat than I knew what to do with and bones, you know, uh, once we start getting into mid game, the one advantage though, that it might give us that would be nice to have is, is more fat because I got all the way to day 35 and I don't remember what my level was, uh, on the experimental version and I, I had trouble, um, Finding fat in quantity, but I had stacks and stacks and stacks of meat and bones and all that, you know. So I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to give that some consideration. But you know, you can do just fine is in terms of just meat and hide and all that without putting any points into the hunting skills. You just don't need them, in my opinion. And the you know the the tracking thing that they have is I've never I don't think I've ever taken that skill. Uh, unless I did it maybe once on a multiplayer uh, situation. It just, I don't know, it seems a little OP and not necessary. Yeah, he's a little too far away for this bow. Get close to the next level. And we're coming up on a, a POI, if not an actual town here. Here's a bag. Come on, water. Ooh, nice. Okay, so craft cigars. Nice. We won't be doing that anytime soon unless we can find some testosterone. We're not going to be taking on a bear. Harvesting tool crafting. We can now do stone tools quality too. Okay. Um... Yeah, well, here, we'll just keep that shovel there for the moment. We already have, we found a quality two axe yesterday, so we don't need to make that. Let's go ahead and just start consuming eggs to try and keep from getting below the threshold on our food, which will take our stamina away, which is not what we want to have happen. I don't want to, 
I don't want to tangle with that guy. He's dangerous. He is more dangerous than uh, the run-of-the-mill Zeke. They toughened him up, the skater punk guy. The absolute worst zombie that you can run into on insane nightmare settings at, in the beginning game is the biker. Because he's lightning fast, he hits like a Mack truck, and he's tough. If you can't get away from him, um, he, it's almost a guaranteed death sentence. <laughs> 